I previously described how to install Apache on Windows as an individual component by extracting the Apache files to the local hard disk and then running the HTTPD application as a command line application. But you can also run Apache as a Windows service. This is a bit more convenient because it can run in the background and you don't need to keep a command window open to keep it running. Once you've extracted the Apache files, go to a command prompt and make sure that you're running as administrator. On Windows 8, you can do this easily by moving the cursor to the lower left corner, right clicking and choosing command prompt admin. And then if you see a user account control dialog, click yes. Next, change to your Apache bin folder. This is where the Apache executables are. Just like before, type HTTPD, but now add two parameters, dash K install. That installs Apache as a service. Notice the name of the service, Apache 2.4, without any spaces. That will become important in a moment. Now let's go to the control panel. On Windows 7, you can go through the start menu, and on Windows 8, you can move the cursor to the lower left corner, right click, and choose control panel. In the search box, type services, and then click on view local services. And there's the service, Apache 2.4. Notice that it's not running yet, so let's start it up from here. I'll click the start service button. Once I see the running status here, I'll go to a browser and test it by typing localhost. And there's the response from the server. I'm seeing the Apache homepage. Now I'll switch back to the services console and I'll click the stop button. Once the dialog is complete, I'll go back to the browser and refresh and I get back the error message indicating that the server isn't available. You can also start and stop the server from the command line. Remember the service name is important. It's Apache 2.4 without any spaces. But when you use it here, it's not case sensitive. So I'll type net start Apache 2.4. Once I get back to the command prompt, that means that the service has started. Then I'll come back to my browser and refresh. And there's my page. Then I'll come back to the command prompt and I'll change start to stop. And that stops the service. I'll come back to the browser and refresh again. And I get back the error message. Now to uninstall Apache as a service, once again, go back to the command prompt and this time type HTTPD dash K uninstall. Once the command has completed, you can go back to the services console and refresh. I'll right click and choose refresh and I'll see that the service has gone away. So that's how you can work with Apache as a Windows service by knowing some simple commands. It makes it a bit easier and more convenient to work with if you're doing a lot of development with Apache.